championship crown. Kaya ang uh, uh, layunin ngayon ng The Facet of Furious, Kagiwa and Helter Brand is to keep that crown on the heads of Hinebra for as long as they can because it is Knockout Friday dito sa wildcard para naman sa Air Force 21. Arwin Santos and KG Caneleta ang kanilang trabaho naman. Panggalin ang Hinebra and go on to that uh, knockout game on Sunday against the Coca-Cola Tigers. Bakbakan Biernes po dito sa ABC Sports. Migo Halili with Jason Webb. And you know, the wild card, you might as well call it the knockout round kasi talagang tanggalan blues dito. Tama yung sinasabi mo, Miko. It's win and go home. One of the teams that's going home after today's game, Talk and Text kanina, na-eliminate na. Ngayon naman, these two teams, they have a knockout game for that chance to face Talk and Text. At makikita niyan sa playoff picture, the winner of this ball game goes up, goes up against Coca-Cola and enters into the quarterfinals kung saan nag-aabang na itong uh, Alaska Aces. Yan ang, uh, ayan, para makita nyo, no, saan papunta itong dalawang kupunan. Actually, yung mananalo, may patutunguhan pa. Yung matatalo, ay eh, pwede na po maganda uh, para sa susunod na uh, conference. Pag-aralan po natin, anong nangyari nung uh, nagkita ng dalawang beses itong dalawang kupunan in their head-to-head -head matchup. But they, they had two games, obviously, in the elimination. They split those two games. And uh, you'll see the numbers right here. Barangay Hinebra shooting not as well as uh, you would like to, under 40%. Pero hindi rin naman kalayuan yung Air 21. That's actually one of the stats that both teams are not very good at. Isa pang stat dyan, Air 21 had more rebounds in those two games as well as more assists. But the one thing that Barangay Hinebra was able to do well was to convert the turnovers na ginagawa ng Air 21 into points. And that's one stat that, uh, you know, that they can really take advantage of. Well, itong uh, Hinebra, uh, it has been a uh, roller coaster uh, season. Yung kanila pagdepensa sa kanilang corona, obviously they would not, they didn't want to be in this position, pero nandito na sila. A lot of things uh, happened throughout the course of the Philippine Cup, but three gentlemen will have to step up tonight big time. But then you saw those three guys, of course, JJ Helterbrand, Mark Kagiwa, at saka si Eric Meng. These three guys, they really didn't have a lot of time playing together sa konferensya ng ito because of various injuries. But JJ Helter, Helterbrand was the one guy that was constant. Nakikita natin ang mga numero niya, 18.3 and 6.7. One of his better uh, conferences thus far. Mark Kagiwa and Eric Meck, on the other hand, you would say Mark Kagiwa, one of his lower scoring uh, conferences in a long time. Eric Meck naman, yung scoring at saka yung rebounds niya, mababa ng konti. Of course, both guys really struggling to gain form because of all those injuries. Tama yan, no? galing sa injury yung uh, si Meck at si Kagiwa. Kaya uh, ngayon pa lang sila talaga nagahabol no? uh, para maiangat itong uh, Hinebra. Uh, when you go to the other side of the fence, ito namang Air 21. They had no problems, maybe except for Gary David, but uh, for the most part, Eh, halos kumpleto naman itong kumpunan na ito na ni Nebra will be hard-pressed to stop a run-and-gun attack of Air 21. Miko, although they had their complete lineup, one of the things that we failed to see with this team was yung identity nila. They weren't able to run as much and uh, it seemed that uh, day in and day out, there was some sort of inconsistency with most of their players. One guy that remained consistent was the first guy on your screen. Ito si Arwin Santos, 20.7 points and 11 uh, and a half rebounds a game. In one of the games against Barangay Hinebra, eh, gumawa pa to ng 32 points and 14 rebounds, although in a, it was a losing cause. KG and uh, itong si Rani Del, I would say this conference, it's been an up and down conference for them. Their consistency really lacking this conference. Well, they're praying that uh, they can be consistent enough tonight. Uh, to uh, advance to that knockout game on Sunday na pinagdadasal ng uh, Air 21. At, uh, dahil kasama natin ngayon si Jason Webb, ay dapat tignan po natin at silipin ang webpage para sa gabing ito. Ano ang mga mukahi mo for both teams? Well, let's start, Miko, with Air 21. With Air 21, one of the stats we saw kanina, yung points of turnovers, they're the team that has to force turnovers and run because etong Barangay Hinebra, they take care of the basketball best in the league, so they have to create easy opportunities. Susunod, no free throws. There's a bad combination here, Miko, para sa Air 21. They're the team that fouls the most. On the other side, ito naman Barangay Hinebra, ang pinaka-fina foul sa lahat ng mga kapanan. Finally, the snatcher must snatch victory. Winnie Arboleda is the lone key veteran in this Air 21 team. And I feel when it's a big time ball game, kagaya nito, kailangan yung pinakamatindi mong veteran ang maglilid to you ng uh, kapunan mo to victory. So in games like this, it's age before beauty. <laughs> okay. There's Winnie Arboleda. At uh, ito namang uh, Hinebra. In unfamiliar territory, as you look at 
the 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 uh, keys to winning for Enebra. Well, on the other side, para sa Enebra, I, I think it's a key for them to rebound because Air 21 they want to run. One of the ways to stop the running attack is to get the rebounds para hindi ka agad makatakbo yung yung kalaban. Especially there's a lot of players in Air 21. I feel that really likes to cherry pick. Ibig sabihin nagabang na kagat sa baba. Susunod, get the big three going. Of course, I'm talking about. Helter Brand, Kagiwa, and Eric Meng. We did talk about the veterans, and they're the veterans on this team. Finally, make Air 21 play team defense. Barangay Hinebra has really had a hard time scoring this conference, shooting under 40% from the floor. Pero ito yung solution para sa kanila pagkakataon. Dahil ang Air 21 naman, they are worst in the league in defense. So if they make Air 21 work on defense, they should be able to get better shots. Let's meet the starting lineup of your Air 21 Experts! Starting at guard number 8, Jake Chia. Also at guard number 20, Gary DeLid. At center number 16, Homer Sid. At forward number 33, Ronnie Del Campo. And also at forward number 29, Arwen Santos! And coach on the Express is on pedestal. And now let's meet the starting five of your Barangay Hidebra Kings! Starting at guard number 13, JJ Hildebrand! And at guard number 71, Ronald Dubis! And at center number 4, Rafi Rubis! Ito na, wala nang atrasa to Ang uh, matatalo po sa gabing ito Ay pwede na pong magpahinga Pwede na pag-isipan Ang susunod na conference Pag naiwan ka dito sa wild card round Walang pahinga eh no? Yung isa walang pahinga Yung isa naman sobra sa pahinga And this knockout game is underway. Uh, Air 21, of course, sila ang uh, naka-purple uniforms. Ang uh, Hinebra naman, naka-immaculate white. And Homer says the basketball. First shot of the game, air ball. Arwin Santos, no go. After Rivas with the rebound. Just going over the starters here, the primary protagonists uh, para sa Hinebra. It's Tupid and Helterbrand in the backcourt. Uh, Kagiwa will act the small forward spot. Kasama si Rafi Rivas at si Eric Beck. Traditional Hinebra three guard uh, combo here. But you, I would think this lineup the uh, Barangay Hinebra has on the floor is their strongest five that they have in their uh, entire arsenal. Although oftentimes, I get to see Santi Salvacion on uh, small forwards uh, in starting unit. Turnover, Laban sa Hinebra. Air 21 begins with Jack Chia and the uh, cup backing Gary David in the backcourt. Asama si Homer Se, Ranadel de Ocampo, and the ever so consistent Arwin Santos. And of course, you all know Homer say he believes in giving the fouls, not keeping them for himself. Parang araw-araw Pasko sa kanya. Always in the spirit of giving. Aanhin mo ang fouls for the next game. Hindi mo rin ang mauwi. Hindi mo rin mababao. Here's Eric Meng over to Helter Brad against Chia. Helter Brad fires. Remember, Jack Chia used to play for Hinebra. Chia now the quarterback of the starting unit. Wala pa tayong puntos. Opening quarter. Chia fires. And misses. Kagiwa with a long rebound. Here's Gary David. Bounce pass. Homer Senogo. Arwin Santos with a putback. Well, that's actually the first good shot that Air 21 has taken. You look at most of the shots that they've taken. Yung mga tira nila ng three-pointers off balance. That's one of the things that gets them in trouble in terms of their field goal percentage. Two to nothing ball game here in Santa Cuneta Astrodome. Here's Vivis, Inabot, Kagiwa, Kagiwa, bangs into a brick wall, here's Tubid, he fires, and scores! TM3 for Ronald Tubid. Ronald Tubid starting in the lineup, usually he's the energy guy that comes off the bench. Ngayon na may Paul Artadi na sila, they can afford for Ronald Tubid to start. As Deo Campo scores against uh, national teammate Eric Beck, Balik ang lamang sa Air 21 with 10 minutes to go in the opening quarter. Here's Helter Brown. Game 3! 
Well, Nebra, the only thing that they're throwing up so far are three-point attempts. Wala pa silang attempt mula sa two-point region. Expressed out by two. Jack Chia posting up Helter Brad and he scores! Very offensive-minded to start the ball game, Jack Chia. You remember uh, one of the first plays of the game was a three-pointer. Play naman kinostehan niya to si JJ Helterbrand. He probably told his coach something up during the times that he was still practicing with Barangay Ginebra. Alamang sinabi niya kay Coach Bo, alam mo, nung nagpa-practice ako, ako yan, oo, oh, pinopostehan ko lang yan. <laughs> Ang tanong eh, naniwala siguro si Coach Bo eh. I would say it's a pabili sa siguro ay without a doubt uh, Helter Brad would uh, leave Chia behind pero marahil sa palakasan ng katawan ay uh, uh, labang itong si uh, Jack Chia We're tied at 6 in the opening quarter of this knockout game Here's Helter Brad Pinasak yung Tubit Tubit fires at lahat ng puntos ng Inebra galing TM Country TM3 na naman for Tubit and you know, those three-pointers, they're uh, easy three-pointers because they are in uh, rhythm at walang uh, nagko-contest. So, magandang naman kagad si Arwin uh, Santos. He has uh, four, uh, four points in the ball game. Cutting down in Ebra's lead to one. And Miko, he already has three offensive rebounds. Ito si Arwin Santos. Not that time, para kay Tubi, here's Kagiwa. Bagong shot lock para sa Hinebra. Up by one point. Here's Rivas. In a book, Kagiwa pull up in his good scorching outside shooting here for Hinebra. For Mark Kagiwa, that's a good sign. We know that he's missed some time in the last game. Okay, sinubukan niya lang maglaro against uh, Tokin Tex. Really critical for him to get going early in this game. First personal laban kay uh, Big. Second team foul laban sa Hinebra. Eight and a half to go. The opening quarter. Here's David. Good move against Mark Kagiwa. The start of this game, uh, offense has been uh, at a high level, or you might say the defense has been struggling to contain the offense of the other side. Here's Helter Brand. Inside, Kubin. That shot is blocked by Arwin Santos. Here's Homer Se. He's going to take it all the way. Pull it up, pull it in David. Carry the bit side step, beauty. Four points for Mr. Pure Energy. Alam ng ball there, 21. One point, 12, 11, with over seven minutes to go. In the opening quarter, bilis ng palito na putis dito. Ah. We already have uh, on the board 25 points between the two teams and uh, we've only gotten through a bit over four minutes sa larong ito. This is, of course, Air 21's style of play. Yes, it usually is their style of play but this year, from what I recall, has been the first year in a long, long time na hindi sila nag-average ng over 100 points. So, this is uh, basically, ito yung identity ng tunay. The block, I think it was Radede de Ocampo who blocked that shot. Ito, Karen David. Radadel, open shot! Yes, sir! TM3 for Radadel de Ocampo. And we enter this timeout with Air 21 on top by 4 points, 17 13. It's a shootout. Vito, sa Coneta Astrodome. Back inside the Coneta Astrodome. At sa puto ito punta natin, si Paulo Trillo. Yes, Miko. Para kay Coach John Uichiko. Ito ang conference ito has been a conference of adjustments para sa Barangay Hinebra. Ang sabi niya, they really struggled early dahil sa mga injuries. Pero ngayon, healthy healthy na sila. So they're looking to really make it through the wild card phase. Ang sabi daw niya, uh, it's key na huwag daw sila makikipagsabayan dito sa Air 21. Para naman dito kay Coach Bo Perasol, ang sabi niya, eh, lahat ng kaya niya iba to. Dito papunta, uh, papunta sa Barangay Hinebra in this ball, ibabato daw ng Air 21. Ang sabi niya naman, key factors sa kanila is that they really have to control the guards of Barangay Hinebra para hindi raw ma-excite masyado ang, mga, ang fans, ang mga crowd ng Barangay Hinebra dito sa Cuneta Astro. Guys, bakit kaila iba to eh? Pwede rin maipadala through Air 21. <laughs> Sagot nga nila ang padala mo. But uh, 
you know, Ginebra, um, do not let their uh, win-loss record uh, fool you. I mean, it's misleading because they, they, they play with so many games without Mark Tagiwa. Without Mark Tagiwa, without Eric Meg, and Eric without Mech, yeah. Rafi Rivas. Correct. You remember that at the start of the year, all three guys were absent in that lineup. And uh, ang nipis nun lineup nila nung panahon na yon. But yet, they were still able to steal some victories. Speaking of stealing, to <laughs> Snatcher. <laughs> Well, Arbolet, Arbolet and Kramer have checked in the ball game para palitan si Homer, si Homer si and uh, Jack Chia and uh, you feel that uh, Winnie is going to play a vital role tonight. Well, I think for Winnie, uh, napaka importante. You know, he's a veteran of this team. Yeah, one time I was talking to him, natatawa nga siya dahil sabi niya, ako na yung pinaka-veterano <laughs> dito. And, uh, you know, looking at the stats, he's the best guy in terms of assists for his team. And uh, early on, miskilabang sila. Isa pa lang yung assist nung team na to. And that's what Winnie Arboleda brings to this team. When he's on the floor, mas maganda yung ikot ng bola. I'm sure when you were dribbling the basketball when you were playing, you'd rather have Arboleda as your teammate than Arboleda guarding you. Well, obviously, and, uh, ito si Winnie kasi ang problema. He may not be the biggest, but he's so strong na pag nabangga ka, matitinag ka, especially when you're dribbling. Hindi naman natin ang si Helter Brand, another TM3 para dito sa Ginebra. They are scorching here in the opening quarter. They're shooting, over, shooting at 60%. We talked about how bad they've shot this conference. Pero lahat yan, pila na bubura dahil sa shooting lang yung araw na to. I think both teams are gunning for 200 <laughs> points. Uh, halos uh, limang minuto pa natitira dito but uh, already uh, it's been a high scoring affair. Walang patid ang napalito ng puntos between the two squads. Ano, malabang pagkatapos ng first quarter, susukatin yung ring kung exacto ba talaga yung size nito dahil lahat sila eh, both teams are uh, seemingly not missing at all. Although in that report with Paolo, he, he mentioned that Coach Joe, which is very conscious of the fact na huwag makipagsabayan dito sa Air 21. Well, that's why he had to call that early timeout. Although they were just down by four, he was noticing that the tempo was already moving towards the tempo of Air 21. At yun nga yung uh, talagang iniiwasan niya. Amaril, uh, this is that uh, jumper. We're tied at 21 as we approach the last four minutes of the opening quarter. By the way, Mamaril came in para kay Eric Meg. Meantime, here's Ranadel de Ocampo. Tapi ka ng bola, it will go out, it will, it will go to Hinebra. Spacing that time around, problem of Air 21, too many guys on one side. Kaya miski umatake si Rani Dele, masyado na masikip yung, uh, at naging mahirap yung kanyang tira. Tough pass. Hindi nang kaintindihan doon si uh, Mamaril at Helterbrand. A little uncharacteristic. Ginebra already has four turnovers on the other side. Ito namang Air 21. Eh, hindi pa tinatapon yung bola. Here's the Ocampo. Oh, it's foul. Clipped on the art. Well, may dalawang free throws pa dito si Rana Del De Ocampo. Pero time out muna tayo from the Cuneta Astrodome. Samatala, pumasok ang pangalawang free throw for Rana Del De Ocampo. Tatlong free throws ang binigay sa kanya. He made the first two. And he made all three. Kaya't lamang po ng tatlo ang Air 21, 24, 21. So here's Kagiwa. Salvacion is now in the ball game para sa Hinebra. Here's Sunday Salvacion. Salvacion over to Helter Brand. Nine on the shot clock. Helter Brand has the ball. Helter Brand goes to Rivas. Rivas pull it past Salvacion. 4 3. Yes, sir! PM3 for Sunday Salvacion. And I'm sure Coach John Michigo would be very happy with that play. Ang ganda ng ball movement nila. They really ran their plays. Air 21 tried to hold on to the deep, to their defense as long as they could. Pero, pero itong Hinebra, eh, talagang they really stuck to their system. Kagiwa, tinawagan na kanyang first personal foul Yan ang mga pangapat laban sa Ginebra That cross-court pass Sunday special on the way All those things, yung tira na yun, really opened up Because of how Ginebra was moving without the basketball Everyone is getting uh, easy attempts 
And titingnan natin, 3-point field goal shooting nila, 5 out of 7. Because there's so many things going on in the middle of the basket, down at the block. Yung depends ng Air 21 has to be aware of all the things that are going on. After 3 minutes remaining, dito sa quarter number 1, here's Big Mama. Uh, Robert Ting Jr. Nahuli itong si Canaleta. Nihila eh, yung uniforme ni Salvacion. Nebra down by one point. Nagiwa. There's nowhere to go. Fourth to shoot para sa Hinebra. Titira na dito si Ao. Uh, oh, Amaru wasn't aware of it. Yeah, it's been a thrill to watch because you can look at Air 21. They're not regarded as one of the better defensive teams. Pero maganda yung pinapakita lang depensa on the flip side. Barangay Hinebra, Barangay Hinebra has been patient with their offense. That time around, a little too patient though. Here's Canaleta. Twirls. Kramer with a putback off an offensive rebound. They're talking about offensive rebounds. Air 21 killing Barangay Hinebra off the boards. Anim na offensive rebound na sila. On the flip side, Hinebra iisa pa lamang. Approaching the last two minutes of the opening quarter. Here's Mamaril. Turns around and scores. Chalk up another assist for Barangay Hinebra. Yung assist department naman, doon naman sila lumalamang na malaki. Yeah, Assist-wise, Miko, itong uh, Hinebra already have 8 assists. Itong Air 21, tat tatlong assist na. Duty foul on the part of Mamaril uh, dahil pateko na itong si uh, Rocket. JC and Tan. A lot of people are still waiting for that... Uh, some dunk in KC in the PBA na talagang, uh, that will get you off your gear. Oh, oh, oh. I think he's uh, getting his bearings here. Oh, look at uh, baka magulat kayo, ha? Vic Pablo is, uh, has now checked in the ball game. Yes, he is playing now for Hinebra. A trip down memory lane oh. para kay Vic Pablo. He did. He is now back with his uh, yung teammate niya na matagal sa FEU magkasama na ulit Vic Pablo and Johnny Abarientos and of course he also played with uh, Hinebra for a while that's why you know Richard Del Rosario is actually entertaining foolish thoughts <laughs> of making his own comeback Vita Eric Meg scores inside Richard of course is a hard, hard working game producer played for Mariwasa <laughs> here's that ball by Eric Meg Actually, Richard was part of the fabled Eco Ismael rivalry. Kaya nga tatay mo. Ayun na nga eh. Pinanood nga ng tatay mo yan. Magaling daw. Magaling daw mag-commentate. Here's Arwin Santos. Santos. Oh! There's an awkward shot. Nagawa ng bola. Nato lang si Pablo. Of course, ah, Vic Pablo, unlike his former team, is still playing. His team former team 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 is still playing. His and now the Tigers are waiting with bated breath. Uh, who will win this game? Nalyo na kakalabari nila sa Lingo for another knockout showdown. Players of uh, Talk and Text must be having nightmares of uh, sa mga mukha ng mga player ng Coca-Cola dahil una, eh, tinalo sila nung Wednesday so they, that's why they had to go straight to the wild card and not have a uh, playoff for the uh, quarterfinals. Tapos ngayon, naglaban sila ulit. Ganun na naman ang ginawa sa kanila. Asi must be really happy though. <laughs> I, I'm very sure he is. <laughs> if that's not poetic justice for him, I don't know what is. But one of the things na pinag-usapan natin, uh, four turnovers and run, that's the express. They've, they've made Hinebra commit six 
and they've scored 10 points out of those on the other side. Ginebra, wala pang pinoforce ng turnover sa Air 21. At syempre, wala pa sila nakukuha puntos mula dito. We're tied at 31. Time winding down here in the opening quarter. Elter Brando go. And Arboleda has the basketball. Another 30 seconds to play. That's a perfect bounce pass. Ooh. And a perfect slam dunk from KG Canaleta. You know, what a thrill when Air 21 is running, especially when you have Winnie running the point. And when you see KG Canaleta on one side, JC Intal on the other, usually you get a treat like that. Among the two Air 21, six seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Helter Brand has the ball. Helter Brand over to Meg. Meg will score! Right after that, nakita natin yung uh, tira ni Eric Meck. Nangyari dun, he was able to get so close to the basket and uh, you have to push a guy like him off the block or else he's gonna get easy points yeah, just like that. High scoring ball game inside the Coneta Astrodome and I'm not surprised why. Because everything is on the line for both teams. He never up by just 1.34.